Saved by the Bell is a beloved touchstone for 90s kids everywhere. But for all its wholesome hijinks, the show's set was more than a little sordid. These are the hookups, parties, and weirdest fashion choices that went on behind the scenes of Saved by the Bell. You may be surprised to learn that Bell started off as a completely different show called Good Morning Miss Bliss. The pilot episode aired in 1988, starring Hayley Mills, a British actress, as the titular Miss Bliss. The show lasted for 13 episodes on the Disney Channel before it got cancelled. When Miss Bliss didn't make it in the ratings, executive producer Peter Engel went back to the drawing board. The series was retold into Saved by the Bell, taking four cast members with it. Mark Paul Gossler as Zachary Zach Morris, Dustin Diamond as Samuel Screech Powers, Lark Voorhees as Lisa Turtle, and Dennis Haskins as Mr. Belding. Brian Austin Green and Julia White also appeared in a scrapped pilot of Miss Bliss, but did not make the jump. Though Miss Bliss takes place in Indianapolis, Engel decided to move the kids to California. He also changed the age range of the kids on the show, from 8th graders to full-blown high schoolers. Saved by the Bell's beloved Zach Morris was inspired by another high school smart aleck, Ferris Bueller. As Gosler detailed to Jimmy Fallon, he snagged quite a lot of swagger from that cinematic slacker. Morris's infamous moments of breaking the fourth wall to speak to the audience, for example, are directly inspired by Bueller. No, that was done by Ferris Bueller. Yeah. We were just copying him. Similarly, the character of A.C. Slater was inspired by Vinny Barbarino, the character John Travolta made famous on the 70s sitcom Welcome Back, Cotter. The first thing you gotta do is a Vinny Barbarino look, okay? Your hair, for instance, very casual. It should look like it's being blown by unseen winds. Engel recalled, Slater was supposed to be Vinny with a leather jacket, Italian kid, who was a street kid, an army brat. Mr. Belding was also inspired by someone else, but not in a way the man in question might have liked. The character was named after Richard Belding, a pain-in-the-butt editor Engel had to work with at Universal. Lisa Turtle's name came from a real girl Engel knew, and Slater was named after a friend of Engel's son in kindergarten. By the way, the AC in AC Slater stands for Albert Clifford. While Gosler, Diamond, Haskins, and Voorhees all made the move to Bell, Jenny Garth, who was up to play Kelly Kapowski, didn't get the role. She went on to major success, however, on Beverly Hills 90210. Which might have been for the best, since not everyone who did get cast and saved by the Bell was thrilled about it. Mario Lopez initially didn't want to play Slater, and admits in his autobiography he was more interested in chasing girls than, quote, trekking up to L.A. to read for a part that had barely been sketched out on paper. Engel reportedly fought to have Tiffany Amber Thiessen on the show, knowing she was, quote, going to be a major star. Elizabeth Berkley was also up to play Kelly, but wound up playing Jesse, a much smarter, more evolved character specifically created for Berkley. As she reflected on Bethany, she wasn't super into her wardrobe, saying, Just because you are a feminist, why can't you also dress in things that make you feel girly and empowered? As you watch even the most wholesome family sitcom, you just can't help but wonder, who's hooking up with whom behind the scenes? Unsurprisingly, putting a bunch of teenagers together resulted in a whole lot of romance on the Saved by the Bell set. As Gosler told People, all of us dated at one point or another. It was incestuous. While much of went on behind the scenes was innocent, some of it became messy. As Lopez details in his memoir, he dated Thiessen but did not stay faithful, admitting, I can't say that I was capable at that age of following through on my noble intentions. There was so much beauty everywhere and I had so much affection to share. With Saved by the Bell being full of teens, it's no surprise they did some partying. Thiessen has admitted the first time she sipped alcohol was with Gosler in Paris during a press tour. Gosler told ABC News he did the time-honored showbiz tradition of using his celebrity to get into adult clubs at the age of 16, although he insisted, but I didn't abuse it, and neither did my castmates. I can't stress how good we were. Most of us probably have regrets about our high school hair, and the Saved by the Bell gang is no exception. Many fans don't know that Gosler is a natural brunette who had to bleach his hair blonde for every single episode. When they sent me the notes on you last night, it said that you dyed your hair blonde for every single yes. episode. I was like, for so every years, day you dyed your hair blonde? Like, I can't believe I have hair now. Gosler's hairstyle looked different every season because, surprisingly enough, the Bell Gang thought every season would be their last. The show ultimately lasted six years, but as Gosler explained, 
At the end of every season, we all left, we said goodbye to each other, and that's why every season my hairstyle was so radically different. Hair drama spared no one, not even A.C. Slater. I didn't even know I had a mullet, it was like an unintentional mullet. Elizabeth Berkley had trouble keeping her wild, curly hair under control and was subjected to endless procedures, treatments, and techniques. The actress recalled, They diffused my hair, flipped it, teased it, sprayed it with hairspray. I practically went through a can of hairspray a show. One of the most infamous and parodied Saved by the Bell episodes is Jesse's song. In it, Jesse gets hooked on caffeine pills and finally has a breakdown in Zach's arms as she sings the Pointer Sisters hit, I'm So Excited. I'm so excited! I'm so excited! I'm so <laughs> scared! This moment is widely derided as cheesy, melodramatic, and unintentionally funny. What few know is that this scene was initially going to be a lot more serious. As Engel has detailed, Jesse was originally going to be hooked on speed, but NBC standards and practices stepped in and told him to tone the episode down. Still, the point came across. Engel said, Today when I meet fans of the show, Jesse's song is almost always the episode that comes up first. No one was making programming for kids like that at the time. It made an impact. It helped them grow up. And I'm still, to this day, proud to have my name on that episode. Like so many child stars, the Bell cast got screwed by the deal they signed. At the time, no one suspected that Saved by the Bell would become a huge phenomena. Being young and naive, the stars signed iffy contracts, meaning they didn't make anywhere near as much money as you'd think. You made really bad deals, poor wow. deals back then. Yeah, right. it's just, it, it is what it is. And you know, you move on, you learn. Moreover, the cast do not make money from the show's syndication, nor from its merchandise. Everyone makes mistakes when they're young, but most of us don't have to live with the knowledge that those mistakes are still costing us thousands of dollars every day. Dustin Diamond fell on hard times after the show ended. The past few decades have been littered with scandal and arrests. Most infamously, he wrote a salacious tell-all book, 2009's Behind the Bell. Its veracity is forcefully disputed by his former castmates. I'm guessing yes. you have not read that, or uh, have I've, you? I've read excerpts. Of, this I, guy's you know. such a d To some degree, Diamond seems to agree with their point of view. In recent years, he has claimed that his ghostwriter, quote, fabricated a whole bunch of stuff and that he was railroaded. So that's a bummer. But you know what isn't? Dennis Haskins, who played Mr. Belding, finally graduated college in 2015 at the age of 65, earning a Bachelor of Arts in Theater and Speech. For his part, Haskins looks back fondly on his time as part of a much-beloved TV classic, saying in 2013, I knew it was something special because the energy was different. The kids were a little bit older, the dynamic was great between everybody, and we were having a great time. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.